The title of Burai Fighter is a weird one in Japan. They actually give two different titles on the box. Burai Fighter, which was used as the title in the US, and Burai Senshi. Burai basically means villainous. So this is a game about an underhanded fighter. Burai Fighter is an original shoot-em-up for the Famicom, and it was developed by Disco, which was an in-house division of Taito. But the box and the title screen credit Toxon. Toxon was the very short-lived international branch of Kaga Electronics, a Japanese company that manufactured things like monitors. Toxon never published anything in Japan, and what seems like happened is Toxon came up with the game design, and then it was handed off to Taito for technical development. Then each company released it in their own respective region. The story of the game is that there's aliens, they're invading, and you've got to fight them. They really don't waste any time with the story here. When you start the game, you're given your choice of three difficulty levels, and these make a pretty significant difference. Basically, each level winds up adding more enemy formations to shoot down. As you zip around the screen, you can shoot in eight directions, and if you hold down the B button, it can then move around while still firing in just that direction. The A button will drain your extra bar for a bomb. I wound up not using these very often, because when the extra bar fills, then you get an extra life. So there's a give and take there. As you're flying around, you'll find capsules that will rotate through letters, and these will increase the power of one of your weapons. Sometimes they're just sitting out in the open, while other times you have to crack open one of these bubble ships, and you can only shoot the central eye. There are three different weapons that you can get, each represented by a different letter. L is for laser, that continuous stream of high damage. Given how much damage it outputs, this is my preferred option for most bosses. R is for the ring shot. It doesn't do much more damage than your regular bullet, but it goes through things. So it's very useful when you're in tight spaces. M is for missile, the worst weapon. Missiles always fire in the same direction. They do solid damage, but doesn't seem to be that much more than the laser. And while it can be powered up to fire multiple missiles, I prefer that my shots be a little bit more flexible. Every time you collect one of these letters, you go up one level in that weapon and switch to it. There are ten weapon levels, and when you're halfway up, you get a second shot that fires behind you, or to the left in the case of the missile. And when you reach maximum power, you'll shoot in four directions. You die in one hit in Barai Fighter, and when you die, your current weapon loses all of its power but all of your other weapons retain their strength. So it's really to your benefit to constantly be switching them up. Then you'll always have something strong to use if you really need it. There's one more power-up in the game, and that's these S-capsules. They give you a minor speed increase. There are seven stages in Burai Fighter. Five of them are side-scrolling, though not always left to right. One of the favorite tricks in the level design for Burai Fighter are these complicated maze-like structures where the screen scrolls in different directions. In fact, the gimmick on stage 5 is that the scrolling keeps changing directions on you. You don't die when you collide with terrain, only if you get crushed. So I actually found this approach to level design kind of enjoyable. The other two stages are top-down shooters, and these have you searching a giant, infinitely looping plane looking for the fortress. At the fortress, you just have to take out the turrets. These levels are good opportunities to power up because there's a continuous flow of these pink ships that drop power-up capsules. One more nice thing about Burai Fighter? You get a password after every stage, and it's a plain English word. If you manage to beat the game on the hardest difficulty level from the menu, you unlock a fourth, even harder difficulty. And that's really all there is to Burai Fighter. Since it's a shoot-em-up, it's got some pretty basic gameplay mechanics. But in general, I like what they do with it. My biggest complaints are that the red crystals that build up your extra bar aren't as frequent as they should be or don't give you enough power there. As I mentioned, it just made me save up for the extra life. But I like the enemy and level design in this game a lot. And I feel like the multiple difficulty levels let you scale it to how you want to play. The game was ported to the Game Boy multiple times as well. And even those ports are surprisingly good. 
In Japan, Barai Fighter is barely remembered at all. But it seems like the people who do remember it all think that it's one of the hidden gems on the platform. And that lines up with my thinking as well. This is a game that I enjoy returning to regularly. This is a good one that just doesn't get enough attention.